our studio audience and welcome out there in TV land. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another fine edition of Blackjack Bowling. Well, we're giving away so much money on this show, it's unbelievable. People are coming from all over, writing us cards and letters and how to get on this show. That's because they're winning. And who are they beating? They're beating the dealer at Blackjack. If he makes 18 or 19, they make 20s and 21s and they win. That's what it's all about, a dealer and a player. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to our dealer, our own Mr. Peter Runovas here. Hey, Peter! Yasu! I don't know what I'm saying, but it's great. Hi, Peter, how you doing? Very good today, Peter. Feeling good? Terrific. You get better looking every week, Peter, son of a gun. I think I'm on a downslide. He's on a downslide. Oh, that means we're going to have more winners. Pete, get up there and roll your first ball for these people out there. Peter Renatus, roll from right here in Garden City. Okay, Peter, that looks like a hot number down the middle. Wow, all okay. right. A 10, oh, Peter. Wow. Boo. What do you mean, boo? I wish I could do that. I wouldn't be standing up here, I'd be doing that. Peter, thank you for rolling that fantastic score. A 10. My God, who knows what you're capable of. Now, to beat Peter, we need a player. And to get a player, we're going to pick a name out of our lucky blackjack bowl. And here's my lovely hostess, ladies and gentlemen. A great big round of applause for D.D. Winter. How are you, my dear? How good to see you. Okay. And the name of our first contestant is... Michael Aber. Thank you, honey. Michael. Hello, Michael. How are you? Good to see you. You know, I get suspicious when they come up with these over here. Look at this. Wow. You're not a pro, are you? Okay, where are you from, Michael? Belmore, Long Island. Yay, hey, we got some Belmoreans. Okay. Are you, uh, are you in the league? Yes, sir. What league are you in? I go on Wednesday nights. On Wednesday nights, good. And what's your average? 172. 172, that's a pretty good score. Now, you saw what Peter did? Mm -hmm. He kind of put the fear of God into all of us, I'm sure, with that one. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure that you're up to it. Go get him. Good luck. Yeah. Okay, Michael, whatever you do, get a good score. But if you get a seven, that's even better because you get a chance to win $1,000. Michael Abel from Belmore throwing, and it's coming around. It looks like a. It could be a mm, two, four, six. It's a four, Michael. Okay, Michael. Listen. Come here. Come here. Don't go away. Now, listen, Michael. Turn around. There's the camera. Now, you were the first one chosen. That means you are the team captain for everyone that follows. Now, we have what we call a wild card draw. You're going to pick one of our lucky sevens right over here that Miss D. Winter has. Over here, D. Thank you, honey. Now, behind each of these sevens is a number. If the number that you choose happens to be the number you just rolled, you would have already won $100. And naturally, anyone that follows you will win that $100 on the first ball. So pick the seven that you like. No coaching from the audience, please. Seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds he's chosen. Okay, there. Please take the seven of diamonds and go back there and hide it. Now remember, if you have a four behind the seven of diamonds, you already won $100. If not, you still have a chance to beat our pro. Good luck, Michael. Michael, four and a seven now would give you an 11 and a chance to roll a 10 for 21, which would be worth $200. Okay, Michael has a four and a, all right, it looks like a good one, Mike. Clip it, oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Michael, three, don't, Michael, be of stout heart. A three, Michael, get a 10 now, you'll have a 17 and you could still possibly win. Can he throw a 10? Will he throw a 10? Yeah! Okay, Michael, we're all rooting for you. Get all the wood you can. Come on, get in there. Oh, just roll off, Michael. Two, four, five. A five. Let's give a great big round of applause and jump to Michael Lever from Belmore. Thank you, Michael. Please be seated in the winner's circle. You did not lose yet. There's still a possibility you may win. The name of our next contestant, please. Lovely Dee Dee. D, 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 D. Remember that show? Okay. Eileen Doxy. Where is Eileen Doxy? Thank you, honey. Wow. 
Eileen, either you know these people or you have a very large family, which is it? I have a large family. She has a large family, that's great. Where are you from? Westbury. Westbury, that's right, close by, isn't it? Yes, it is. Are you in a league? I was. And what happened? They threw you out because you made too much money? No, I, I have a problem with my thumb, my bow and my thumb. Okay, well, you're using the other hand today? No. How come you don't have one of those leather things that everybody else has? You don't need it, do you? I don't need it. You know what Peter rolled? You're going to beat him? Yes, I hope so. I know you're going to do it. Go get it. Two good ones, I mean. Bad thumb and all. It looks like a good one, Eileen. It looks like a goodie. Yes, indeed. Eileen got a 10. I'm not even going to go over there, Eileen. You know what you have to do. Get as much wood as you can there. Anything from an eight up will give you a very good advantage. A very good place to be watching this game from. All you can, Eileen. There's that release again with the bad thumb, and it's still a pretty good one. Jersey, come on. A six. Mm. Eileen, come here, dear. The good news and the bad news. They're starting it already. Do you want to say it's 16 or you want to try for 21? She's going to go. Go get him, Eileen. Oh, boy. Eileen Doxy, she's got a lot of moxie. She's going to go. She don't care. Five or less. Come on, Eileen. Let's get in there. Circle there, fantastic. Boy, I can't understand it. This woman got nervous. I got a bad thumb, I got bad feet, I got everything. She rolled 21 in the head. Fantastic, yeah, you just made our day. And now, our next contestant. Wow, 21 on the head. Where's Thomas Reed? All right, All right Tom. Hi, right, Tom. Wow, look at this fellow, I thought he was going to run right down the alley. How are you, Tom? Where are you from, Tom? I'm from Elmont. Elmont, Long Island. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Say hello there. Tom, you look like you're all dressed up and ready for this thing to happen. Are you in the lead? Yes, I am. You're not a pro, are you? Almost. Mm. <laughs> What's your average? Low to mid-70s. Are you playing golf or are you going to bowl? <laughs> Low to mid-70s. Right. Is that for one ball or for a game? That's, what, that's my average. Your average is 70. 170. Oh, 170. I thought you said 70. I'm sorry. Okay. Go get him now. You know what he rolled? Go get two good balls for us. Tom. I thought he said 70. All right, Tom. It looks like it's down there. Okay. Yes. All right, Tom. Tom, look at Ned. Don't get mad, Tom. It was a 10. A 10 is good. If you get a 6, what are you going to do? Eat up the audience? Okay, Tom. Go get him. Yeah. All right, Tom. All right, Tom. It's down in the middle, and it could be another one. Oh, all right, Tom. Wait. 19. Now you can get mad. Over here, Tom. Look at you. You have a 19. Pete has a 10. You can stay at 19 and hope that he doesn't beat you or get a 19 or better. Or you can go and try to get two pins for 21 and $200. If you go over 21, you lose. What do you want to do? And don't get mad. He's going all the way, baby. All the way, Tom. Tom, if you lose, don't get mad, please. If you do, take it out on them. Wow. Such exuberance. All right, Tom! Oh, Tom! Tom, you're not gonna hit me. <laughs> Over here, Tom. Tom, you lost, unfortunately. That's the bad news. The good news is, though, is that you won the hearts of everybody in the audience. How about a great big round of applause? And you also won one of our T-shirts for Tom. Tom, we're in the best of health. Thank you, come see us again. Fantastic. Hey, Tom. Boy. <laughs> Too bad this wasn't a karate contest. 
<laughs> next contestant, please. That's how it broke me up. Oh. Steve Engelman. Thank you, man. Hi, Steve. How you doing? Oh, my God. What are you young fellas eating today? I don't believe this. Where are you from? Yeah. Uniondale. Okay, yeah. Union League. One kiss and boom. Is that your brother? <laughs> He's not your name. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I wanted to ask you this. What is your average? I don't ball in the league. I don't really have a set average. Maybe 140. Maybe 140. In other words, that means you're going to win $100,000. Is that right? <laughs> Something like that. That's the way it's been working, right? Who's sick, who can't do it, and they all get up and draw goods. Draw a couple of good balls for us, young man. I'm sure you can. Steve Engelman. with a no average. Steve Engelman with a no average. Well, Steve, so far your average is 10. If you get another one, your average will be 20. And you're gonna be pretty close to winning. Go get him, champ, I'm sure you can do it. A 10. And if that 10 happens to be on the seven that they chose, you win $100 more. Oh, that looks like another good one, Steve. No! Oh, it's an eight. Steve, you just caught that hit a little high. Oh, yes, Steve. 18 you have. Pete has a 10. Now, you know the way the game goes. You have to beat the pro. Would you like to try for 21, or you want to stay at 18? You want to go get a three? Go ahead, he's going to go for a three. How about that? You need a three, Steve. Anything over, and you lose. A three or under, and you're still in the money. We're all rooting for you, Steve. Get it, baby. Oh, Steve, Steve, Steve. Stevie. Stevie, my goodness. He thought he had, we all thought he had it right on the end. Right, Peter? Just took a little too much work, but that was fantastic. We want to thank you so much for appearing on our show. And here's one of our t-shirts. We're in the best of health. Come see us again. Thank you again. Let's have a great big hand for Steve. Okay, and the name of our next contestant is... Okay, Joel Burse. Where's Joel Burse? Here he is. Hi, Joel. You putting that thing to sleep or are you just keeping it warm? That's his good luck dirty towel. Is that your good luck clean ball? I hope so. He hopes so. Okay, where are you from? Levittown, Long Island. Okay, and what's your average? 171. Hey, that's a pretty good average. Now he's already rolled a 10. You're gonna clean this up a little bit and yeah, we'll throw some good scores? Talk to it too. Okay, he's gonna talk to it too. Okay, make it lay down on the couch and get $100. Okay, go get him. Make up your minds. <laughs> okay, Joel. Studying concentration. Oh, that looks like a good one, Joel. Oh, it's a six. Okay, Joel, you just missed getting a seven, which could have bought you a big, big prize, but you have a six. You're still in the game, Joel. You have two more balls to throw. Pete has a 10. If you roll possibly a five or a four now, it would give you a nine or a 10 or even an 11, which put you in great position to make a 21 and a chance to win $200. All right, Joel, a six and an eight. Six and an eight. Joel, a six and an eight is 14. Now, did you talk to that second ball a little more? Did you tell her what to do? That's a 14. Now I got news for you. You need a seven for 21 and $200. Do you want to go or do you want to stay? He definitely wants to go. I suggest that you talk to the towel and the ball and anybody else that you know. Get a seven for us, Joel. I think he's gonna do it. I got that feeling in my bones. 14 and a seven is 21 for a $200 win, Joel. 
talk to that ball. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have a 14 and we have a nine. Joel, I'm so sorry. Come on, let's hear it for Joel. Great, great form, great delivery, great everything, but you happen to go over. But don't, don't, don't leave without collecting one of our beautiful T-shirts here. Thank you so much for appearing on our show. We hope to see you again. Wear that in the best of health. Thank you. Thank you. And the name of our next contestant, please. Here she is, pretty Dee Dee Winter. Yeah. Hello, Dee Dee. Steve Stankowitz. Thank you, darling. Steve Stankowitz. There he is. Hi, Steve. Oh, boy, Steve has a, you have a lot of friends out there, eh, Steve? Where are you from? Glen Cove. Glen Cove. They came all the way from Glen Cove here to watch you ball? Oh, here anyhow. Oh, you ball here anyhow. That's great. What's your average? 72. 172. Right. That's going to. You've never been a pro, have you? Never. Okay, you know how to beat the pro? I'll beat him. You got, I'll beat him. He says he's going to beat him. How about that? Well, go ahead. Show us how you're going to do it. They want you to throw three sevens. I think you can do it. Three sevens for a hundred thousand dollars. Hey, that's wow! That looks like a seven. Oh yes, it is. Oh boy. Okay, that is the first step in the journey towards our one hundred thousand dollar prize. Two more sevens gives you one thousand dollars, Steve. Are you gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Yes, they say. Well, come on, Steve. Get out of here and do it. Okay, and it looks like it's in the pocket. Oh, oh boy. It's a 17. Wait, come here, Steve. Don't look dejected. Over here. Please stand over here for a moment. I didn't even say a word. He says, I'm going to go for it. He's going to go and try to get a 21. Okay, Steve. You have 17. You need a four or less to stay in the game. A four, you are an automatic winner of $200. Four or less, Steve. All right, now stay where we are. Yeah. Two, oh my, oh, what a, oh, Steve. Steve, you had it. You had it. Oh, he had it and he lost it by one stupid pin, came over and said hello to the other one. I can't believe it. But listen, you were fantastic. We love your delivery. And we want to give you one of our t-shirts. Thank you so much for appearing on our show. Oh, Steve, that was fantastic. Great. Wow, he had it, he had it and he lost it the last second. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now we have one, two, three, four people in the winner's circle. That means now we have to have the moment of truth. Now we're gonna find out who won and who lost. And in order to do that, we're gonna introduce again Mr. Pro himself, Peter Renotis, to throw his last ball. Come on, let's hear it. Peter. We're gonna break a lot of hearts, Peter, with this last ball. And who knows? You might even gain a few friends. It's impossible. It doesn't matter because you're here and they're all here to win. And we still have those three sevens to look at, the wild cards. They're rooting for you, Peter. All right, Peter has a 10 and a nine. That's 19. Oh, come on, how about a great, you're disappointed. You can't throw them all, Peter, you can't throw points all the time. Thank you, Peter, please be seated now. That's 19, how many people here beat 19? You did? Okay, we had a winner. Come on, stand up, grab your round of applause for this lovely lady. Now also, we have four people in the winner's circle who may have picked this number and thrown it for their first ball. They also will win $100. And the number behind the seven is an eight. Did anyone throw an eight the first ball? No, I'm sorry. Okay, we had a winner. And that concludes our show, ladies and gentlemen, for today. We want to thank you so much for being such wonderful sports. And be sure to tune in again and catch this great, great black, black, black jack bowling show that we have right here in Garden City. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a great big round of applause for Mr. Peter Renatus, our pro. And my lovely assistant, Dee Dee Winters. How are you doing? Okay, thank you. That was really great. We want to thank you all so much. Be sure to tune in again next week. 
and catch us on Blackjack Bowling. Say goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye. Remember, we're all those sevens. That's where it's at, rolling sevens. Goodbye now.